In this super important lesson, I'm going to talk about structure and organization. Structure and organization will be your best friend. They are crucial on your journey. If you're serious, if you're radically serious about creating this transformation in your life, then get your calendar out, get your agenda out. Because um, creating habits and stacking habits will make an enormous difference for you. So let me share the, and I'm not an organized person by nature, believe me, but there's, I do understand how beneficial it is. So there's certain things that I definitely do. Um, so I, when I received my uh, fitness uh, workout schedule, I first of all decided on the days that I was going to, I have to, I had two rest days. So I worked out when my rest, which days my rest days will be. And um, then, you know, approximately, you know, it, it, life happens, I have kids. And, you know, sometimes it suits me better in the daytime, um, sometimes in the evening time. This evening, I'm going to the gym in, um, in the evening. But um, ideally, you want to stick to a schedule as rigidly as possible because the mind gets used to it. Like, for example, I know that I have two leg days and then I have back day, shoulder, shoulder day and arm day, but I have two leg days. And I know that they are Wednesday and Saturday. I realize that now. I didn't always, I had to look at my schedules, like, okay, what am I doing today? And, um, you know, you get used to it and then you remember, oh yeah, these are the exercises I have to do. Now I still have to check. I am not yet at the stage. I have only been in the gym two months, guys. Um, so I have to check, okay, what's next? What's next? You know, and I tick them off. I have in my notes app on my phone, I share, um, I basically look, there's Sunday's workout. I don't know if you can see it. And I, what I do is I copy and paste. I basically, I just copy at the gym. I copy from last. So today's Tuesday, this evening. So what I will do is I'll find Tuesday from last week. I'll select it and I, I copy it. And then I paste it down. And what I do is I remove all the green ticks. And then I start at the first one. And then I put a green tick when it's done. And I mark the weight that I did on the fourth set or the final set. Sometimes it's just three sets. Um, so that's one thing I do. And when I'm finished, I screenshot it and I send it to my coach. It's for accountability, really. I don't think he looks too closely. Maybe he does. But I do that. And I also send him videos of my, um, you know, me killing myself on the board set just to make sure he wants to make sure that I'm really going to failure and that my uh posture and you know that 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 I am doing the exercise correctly you know he'll say put your legs wider or something like that um sometimes when I share a video and by the way I was very shy at the start to take videos of myself and now I don't care because you you've got to really let go of what other people are thinking you're there for you and for your transformation and to get the best results possible. So don't be shy about, you know, just stay in your own lane, stay in your own lane. And um, yeah, people, people aren't interested anyway. They're too interested in themselves, the gym and their own workout to, to really take notice. But um, the, the closer that you are to a schedule, the easier it's going to be to follow, number one. And also what I do when I wake up, for example, I wake up and I get my coffee and I eat my egg salad. I have an egg salad in the morning. I have eggs with um, spinach and beetroot and cucumber. And yeah, quite a feast. <laughs> it's a nice way to start. And coffee. And I, I come back to bed and I eat it in bed whilst listening to some some training or something. And then I meditate. And then after that, I do yoga. I at the start thought, oh, well, I don't have time for yoga anymore. That will have to go out the window. I'll just do it the odd time. But I got injured in week two. I had a sore back. And then I thought, oh, shoot, I can't get injured. I've hired this coach. I, I can't get injured. I'm, I've committed to this. So I realized I've got to do yoga every day, number one. Number two, I've got to be super careful to warm up because what happened was I got injured. I hurt my back because I didn't warm up. Luckily, though, it passed very quickly. I was so nervous at the start of getting injured. And my my coach was like, no, nah, there's not really much chance that you can get injured, you know, if you're doing the exercise correctly. And I was like, oh, but I'm not sure I am. I know. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I just started slowly and gradually increased. And I've been so fortunate not to get injured, really. Touch wood. 
Um, a few glitches here and there for sure, but you know, nothing that, uh, nothing that lasts. And I think the yoga is a real credit. I do it most days. I would say five or six days out of seven. Um, I try to find the time for it. And, you know, on the rare occasion when I haven't had time, I'll do it at least 10 minutes because I just need that body stretch and it, it really is useful. And then after that, I'll usually do my cardio, you know, I'll take my doggy out and, um, do my cardio and then I work for the day and then go to the gym in the evening, um, depending, depending on my schedule. Right. So that's my schedule. And it's like habit stacking. They're habits that are stacked on top of each other. I do this and then I do this and then I do this and then I do this, you know, and then I do my journaling and then I do a mindset work and then I do client work, etc. So that's how we do. And then I do content creation in the afternoons. Um, so yeah, it's it's quite predictable. So the more predictable it is, the more organized and structured you are. Also, simple things like, you know, your gym clothes, you know, getting them organized. And even I was thinking, I thought, well, you know, I could actually make the eggs the night before, you know, rather than waiting for them in the morning, you know, I could do that, you know, rather um, just to shave another five minutes off. It's just all about efficiency and looking for ways to be as efficient as possible. Because I, but I actually, I know, I like my eggs melted into the spinach. <laughs> so yeah, second thoughts, that won't work. But, you know, play with it, you know, think about, okay, where could I be more organized? And then for your food, very, very important. You know, there is a, a lesson already on meal planning, but, you know, being so organized about, you know, when you do your shopping and, you know, what you require, you know, not to run out. Because for me, I realized I have to get, um, I eat, uh, four sevens, 28, 28 eggs a week. Hmm. Tw I eat two eggs and two egg whites. My dog gets the egg yolks. <laughs> so, um, I mean, that's a lot of eggs to buy. It's more than before. And then for my kids as well. So, um, I'm buying a lot of eggs and, um, yeah, you know, tuna, I'm eating a lot of tuna right now. It's the lowest fat fish. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, being really planning well. And I've realized that, I love uh, spinach, I love broccoli, you know, those greens, um, and more recently Chinese cabbage I love. So, you know, I, I also get iceberg lettuce. I like that chopped in tuna. Tomatoes I'm eating loads of, chopping them and everything. But, um, you know, just being as organized as possible with all of those things will really, really, really serve you well. So, um, you know, there's so many factors that will support your success and it the the structure and organization is definitely going to be one of those things and just also notice you know so it means boundaries as well you know maybe not going to that social event or not meeting that person for a coffee or you know, because all those things kind of throw you energetically as well and you know it's really really important to be on top of whatever you know it's it has to be your highest priority and when it is, it will work. It will work. It works if you work it. So yeah, when you're radically committed to it working, it will work. So um, for this lesson, I invite you to really think about, okay, where can I be more organized? Where can I be more structured? What exactly am I committing to each? Ah, here's one thing very important, simplicity. I knew at the very, very start when he was giving me my meal plan and he was sick, kind of, he was saying to me, what do you eat? You know, what's your average diet during the day? And because he wanted to, you know, kind of adapt to my way of eating, which I thought was very sensible and, you know, to, to give you the best chance of success, right? Um, and I said to him, I need the simplest meal plan possible because it involves complicated recipes. And that's, you know, the Sculpted Vegan, She's she creates wonderful programs, but some of the recipes are, you know, the tofu and getting a tofu some kind of a thing to squeeze the um the moisture out of the tofu and it was just I mean it's probably not that complicated but you know um yeah it, it always is at the start when you're not used to it and yeah there's a few recipes there that were I found a little bit um just more they weren't as simple and simplicity would be your best friend in life not just with your meal plan but in life you know, I'm doing it with my business now, everything I'm, I'm finding as much simplicity in my life as possible, because then you have spaciousness and energetically, you know, you're, you're going to have more energy, then you'll lift better at the gym, and then you'll get bigger muscles. <laughs> Best of luck with being as structured and organized as possible.
let me know how you get on and tag me in the Facebook group with your wins, your, your organizational wins.